What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MULN stock. And in today's video I have to say that uh, we have plenty of news and uh, probably for someone this news uh, might be a real bombshell. And uh, I will show you what uh, news uh, we should be aware of uh, in the decision, in the process of making decision. And uh, we should uh, take a closer look on this news uh, if uh, you decide uh, to invest in this asset. So let's start with the price chart. I have to say that I made uh, my previous video just a couple of days ago. And since then this asset, uh, I made my previous video somewhere here, this asset uh, lost again about 22% of its value. Uh, during just uh, one week uh, from uh, the June uh, the sixth, uh, from June the sixth, it, lo it lost about 41% uh, of its value. During last month, from the mid of May, it lost. Uh, let's take a look right here, somewhere from this point, it lost uh, about 70% uh, of its value. And uh, one year is also mind-blowing. Uh, I guess 90% uh, uh, of its value. And that is why you have to be very cautious with any type of uh, positions with Malin. Because right now I don't see any type, uh, any signs of recovery of this asset. So, and let's continue with the news. On their official press release section you can find uh, this uh, press release that was published just yesterday. And it's titled, Malin announce, uh, announces development of lightweight EV truck body with uh, Phoenix uh, truck bodies and van equipment of Southern California. And uh, here is this news, you can read it by yourself, but I want to pay attention on the counterparty itself. It is the, co the company that uh, produces uh, the, uh, this type of uh, equipment. And uh, I have to say that uh, Malin Class 3 truck is just a chassis. And uh, you have uh, to have something uh, on this chassis in order to be a real truck. That is why they have uh, they signed this contract and uh, probably they will uh, produce some uh, uh, very generic and simple uh, body like uh, platform probably and uh, they will uh, start to sell uh, their existing class 3 vehicles uh, the leftovers from the ELMS so and uh, let me show you what uh, news uh, you should be really aware of if you take a look uh, on the Reddit thread related to Malin, you can find uh, this uh, article that was published by Thread Gopher. And uh, it is a very simple and generic article with just several paragraphs. Uh, and uh, it shows you how severe the dilution of existing shareholder is. And here is the link on the official document. It is a 424B7 form. And right here you can find all the necessary information in order to uh, do your own uh, due diligence. And uh, here you can read it uh, just a summary. And uh, in general, the dilution is uh, awful. During just several months, uh, they diluted existing shareholders uh, with almost twice of the uh, amount of existing uh, shares. And uh, this leads to 50% uh, decrease in price uh, of these shares during just last uh, 30 days. And this news is really important. But despite this real news, we still uh, can see a lot of uh, bullish sentiment around uh, the YouTubers, uh, around YouTube videos. And if you type uh, MULN stock uh, in the YouTube search bar, you can see that a lot of YouTubers are still continuously shilling this stock. And uh, one of uh, these uh, persons uh, is definitely Financial Journey, Cal from the Financial Journey YouTube channel. And uh, recently he made two shorts. And uh, these shorts uh, might be very important for those uh, who think that uh, Lawrence Harch is uh, going to help uh, Malin to solve their financial problems. And he posted this uh, short, Lawrence confirms deal with Malin. And the second uh, video is titled, Malin may be working with Ford in the future. And uh, these two videos uh, might be quite promising for people who don't familiar with Lawrence Harch uh, and uh, with uh, David Mishri. But uh, for those of you who know what uh, is uh, their usual behavior, you know that uh, we have a lot of uh, bold and misleading statements uh, from these uh, people. And uh, the previous uh, promise uh, was that uh, they should start uh, the first uh, deliveries in Q1. And they basically did it uh, at the very end of March. They delivered 16 vehicles uh, to the campus in uh, North Carolina. But uh, according to their earnings report, they didn't receive money for these vehicles. 
And previously, they stated that uh, the Malin 2 class vans will be delivered uh, to DPL uh, last November, in November 2022, and uh, it didn't happen. Next uh, misleading statement uh, previously that uh, David Mishuri should uh, disclose uh, the name of uh, the S&P 500 company, uh, the major partnership for Malin for upcoming years, and he didn't do it. And uh, we have a lot of uh, this type of promises. That is why the market doesn't uh, respect uh, this news uh, that they signed the contract uh, to produce new bodies for their truck uh, uh, class 3 trucks and that is why from the technical standpoint we also don't have any signs that this asset uh, will go higher and guys just uh, do your own due diligence and decide whether or not this asset uh, is worth your attention and uh, if you take a look on its price action if you switch to let's say two hours time frame this asset is in consistent downtrend and nothing can stop it uh, with this uh, mind-blowing delusion uh, from this year alone, this asset uh, lost more than 96-97% of its value. How it is even possible that investors, so-called investors, continuously doubling down their position and they already lost uh, $96 from uh, every $100 uh, invested in this asset. It doesn't make sense. And believe me, there is uh, no investors in the world uh, who have uh, this type of strategy. Their strategy is uh, to do proper due diligence and to evaluate the company based on their fundamentals. That is why you should be very cautious with any position on Malin. On top of that, uh, let me show you the tweet that was uh, made uh, by Chacha, another uh, person who likes Malin very much. He posted uh, this uh, tweet, uh, this uh, screenshot, this picture basically from the Tunica plant. And uh, there are several vans, several disassembled vans. And if you click right here on, the, on his YouTube channel, you will find that these vans uh, are disassembled uh, basically in the field. And these vans uh, probably are the vehicles from which uh, some spare parts uh, should be installed on other vans in order to uh, fix uh, its uh, problems. So it is what it is. Uh, they cannot produce any vehicles. They just uh, can sell or deliver their leftovers from ELMS. And that is why if you properly do the due diligence, you will find out that this asset doesn't worth your attention. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay bad